Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, thank you for coming today. Um, done a little uh, musical chairs here on the stage, as you have probably seen. Um, we're very excited about the fight this Saturday night in Atlantic City. Uh, Adrian Broner versus Gavin Reese, 12 round fight for the WBC Lightweight World Championship. Saturday, February 16th at Boardwalk Hall in Atlantic City. The event is promoted by Golden Boy Promotions and r, &R Promotions, sponsored by Caesars Atlantic City and Corona. We'll be televised live on HBO World Championship Boxing at 10.30 p.m. Eastern and Pacific. Tickets are still available for the show. They're going very quickly. Uh, we're hitting low quantities at a few price points, but we still have seats available uh, from $25 uh, to $200 for ringside, and they're available at the Boardwalk Hall box office and for Ticketmaster. All of our Fight Week events, including this one right here, will be streamed live online at goldenboyboxing.tv. So uh, we urge everyone, uh, if you can't be uh, at any of the events that are going to be going on later in the week in Atlantic City, check them out online. Those events are uh, Broner and Reese Media Roundtables, which will take place uh, at Caesars uh, in the Tiberius Room on Thursday, with Reese going at 1 o'clock, Broner at 1.30. We have our official weigh-in at the lobby at Caesars, which will take place on Friday at 3.30. And in addition to being streamed, it will also be open to the public. Uh, fight night, doors open at 5.30 and our first fight is at 6 o'clock. A uh, few people I'd like to acknowledge who are not in attendance today. Um, Aaron Davis, who's the commissioner of the New Jersey State Athletic Control Board. I want to thank him and his staff. Uh, Ken Condon, who's a sports and entertainment consultant for Caesars. I want to thank him for uh, all of his support. Uh, we've, we've had uh, positive experiences doing shows uh, with Caesars and Bally's in Atlantic City, uh, including Adrian's last fight which was uh, a great success. We did some fundraising uh, for Sandy Relief. We raised close to $50,000 for the Boys and Girls Club of Atlantic City at that show. Just want to thank Ken once again. Also, uh, Kerry Davis, Senior Vice President of Programming for HBO Sports, and Ken Hirschman, President of HBO Sports. Uh, now to uh, say a few words uh, on behalf of HBO Sports, I'd like to introduce the Director of Programming, Peter Nelson. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, thanks, Dave. Um, we're all excited for this fight on Saturday night. And you know, if a fighter is only as good as his last fight, then Adrian Broner, who is America's youngest champion, is also one of the world's finest. Yeah. My name is Gavin. What, 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 how you, I don't even know this. Hey. Easy. Settle down. I'm going to say some nice things about both of you. And between the Cincinnati slang and the South Wales accent, I don't think you guys are even going to understand each other if you try to trash talk. Um, so for those of you who were there in Atlantic City three months ago when Adrian demolished uh, a more experienced and bigger man and Antonio DeMarco, um, it was a revelatory experience. Uh, it was at the outset a hope for a fight of the year that turned out to be something of far greater import, which was the discovery of one of boxing's brightest lights. Now though, from across the pond, and now across the dais, um, we have Gavin Reese, who hopes to extinguish that light, and it is with great pride that we were able to put this fight together with the help not only of uh, Golden Boy, but also uh, Matchroom, Eddie Hearn. I want to thank all of you, um, not only for accepting the fight, for coming over across the Atlantic uh, to take it. Um, whether or not um, people say Adrian Broner hasn't fought anybody, or whether he just makes everybody look like nobody, is something that remains to be seen over the course of his legacy. I know that over across the pond there's a lot of talk that this could potentially be an upset that's going to have semblances of Lloyd Honigan against Donald Curry. Um, he is as underestimated in this fight as he's certain he will win it. Um, and I want to thank your team for uh, coming to the occasion and taking the opportunity. Um, this is the lightweight championship of the world. This is going to be a war. Um, this is HBO's premiere of World Championship Boxing in 2013. 
It's going to be a tremendous night of television for us. It's going to start with Beyonce and her documentary, Life is But a Dream. It's going to be at 9 p.m. and it's going to be followed by the fights at 10.30. Um, thank you for Golden Boy, for BB Kings, for hosting us here, and all of you in the press for showing up today. Look forward to seeing you all at a terrific event in Atlantic City. Thank you. Thanks, Peter. I um, want to run through the undercard a little bit. Uh, this show has a, a pretty incredible undercard. Um, there are fights on here that, that could be televised on, uh, on major networks. Um, in uh, earlier fights, uh, we have a fighter from Philadelphia named Wahid Rahim, who's going to fight in a four-round fight. Uh, he's 3-0 with one KO. We've got 2012 U.S. Olympian uh, Jamel Herring, who's from Rockville Center right here in New York. Uh, he faces uh, San Juan's Jose Valderrama in a uh, four-round lightweight fight. Uh, Robert Easter of uh, Toledo, Ohio uh, will face Manatee, Puerto Rico's Carlos Lopez in a four-round fight. Three-time United States Olympian, who is, I believe, the only time, the only three-time United States Olympian, Rashi Warren, uh, also Cincinnati, uh, will be fighting in a four-round fight. We also have 2004 U.S. Olympian Vicente Escobedo uh, fighting Edner Cherry in a 10-round lightweight fight. Uh, Charles Whitaker defending his USBA junior middleweight title against uh, Bernard Hopkins' nephew, Demetrius Hopkins, in a 12-round fight. And then we also have a WBC super middleweight title eliminator between Nicola Shajekla, I can never pronounce this name, Nicola Shajekloka. And with my last name, I should get that right. Um, uh, he's facing Saki Obika, uh, and that's uh, number one versus number two in an eliminator uh, to face Ward, I believe. Uh, now, uh, to say a few words uh, and introduce his fighter, I'd like to bring up a gentleman uh, who I've gotten to know over the years. Uh, it's been a pleasure working with him on a, and on another fight which hasn't yet come to fruition, which was supposed to come to fruition, which keeps getting postponed. Um, he's the uh, managing director of Matchroom Boxing, Mr. Eddie Hearn. Thank you, David. Uh, it's a pleasure to be back in New York, and uh, thanks to Golden Boy for giving Gavin this opportunity. It's a huge one for uh, Gavin and we're delighted to, to get the opportunity. Adrian, you're a great champion, and thank you very much for giving thank Gavin. You. Thank you. Nice. Yeah, thank you. I'm not too sure about that jumper. It's a bit of a rascal. But um, this is a huge fight for Gavin, and um, he accepted the fight in about 1.5 nanoseconds, to be honest with you, even before he found out the purse. So I know that he's been written off, and it's uh, some of the odds that we've seen floating around the sports books we actually find quite abusive. But, um, you know, we're former British, European and world champion and this is a huge opportunity for Gavin Reese. We know that if there's anyone that will be overruled it's not Gavin Reese going into this fight. We know how tough it is, we know what a great champion Adrian is but we're here to win, we're not here to make up the numbers and uh, I can promise the toughest test of, of Adrian Brown's career on Saturday night. Like I said he's a great champion and we come in full of respect but Gavin deserves a hell of a lot more respect from he's been getting and him and the team are supremely confident going into this fight and um, you know we believe we're going to cause a, a massive upset and go home and uh, really make a statement for British boxing so don't miss it on Saturday, thanks for Atlantic City for hosting us again Caesars, Ken Condon, looking forward to seeing Aaron Davis and all the team down at the Atlantic City uh, Commission and uh, don't miss it because I know you see the odds, don't believe the odds um, Gavin Reese is here to win and he's in the form of his life and he's motivated and we look forward to Saturday night. Thank you very much. And just to introduce our man, like I said, the former British, European and world title champion, please give it up for Wales' Gavin Reese. Alexander Olsen, uh, thanks to Golden Boy, thanks to Max for setting me up this fight against Adrian Verona. What's your name, innit? My name's Gavin Reese, so you didn't know. It's okay, you know now. So, come Saturday night, um, I'm sure you're going to look forward to knocking your head off because you're one cocky cock. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, just the way you are. Yeah, the mic taller than you. Well, you'll be loving me when I knock you up cold. So, what are you going to say about that? We're going to see. 
We're going to see it. We will see it. Yeah. You got all the mouth and the shoe back it up Saturday night. I'm not going to miss the water you run tonight. You ain't going to hit it. That's your problem. It's just the target, target practice. The moving target, like the rest of the people you've been fighting. Make you look good. You look terrible. Well, maybe it looks terrible. Too. You ugly. So what are you gonna say with how to knock you out? <laughs> you ugly too. Mm. Everybody knows sex. I bet your missus wasn't say that. So that's all I really got to say. Gonna knock his prick out Saturday and I can't wait. <laughs> Thanks, Gavin. A um, few uh, members of uh, Team Broner I'd like to acknowledge first. Uh, our co-promoter uh, with Adrian is uh, Andrew Williams, who's the president of R&R Promotions. want to acknowledge him. Uh, his trainer, uh, who's been like a father to him, uh, Mike Stafford, who's up here. Uh, there's not much that I can say about this young man my left who that I, that hasn't been said already um, he's uh, unbeaten he's wildly charismatic he's talented and at just 23 he's only going to get better which is a pretty scary proposition for everyone that uh, chooses to get into a professional boxing ring at 135 pounds or higher uh, he's known for wrapping himself into the ring and getting his hair brushed before his interviews in the ring but he's also uh, and I know this because I've seen him in the gym, he's also one of the hardest working fighters you will ever see. I mean, there's, there's, there are no days off for Adrian Broner. He won his first world championship at 130 pounds uh, in November of 2011. Had a very busy 2012. Uh, defended that title once, also beat Vicente Escobedo. Should I hurry? No, I'm just, that's the way we say all that. Uh, and then he closed out 2012, uh, as Peter alluded to, by moving up in weight and thoroughly dominating uh, Antonio DeMarco to win the WBC lightweight title. Without any further ado, the record of 25 and 0 with 21 KOs from Cincinnati, Ohio, Adrian the Problem Broner. I mean, I mean, what can you say, man? You know, 23. Young and I'm getting it. Uh, I don't underestimate him. You know, um, if we stand face to face, I probably couldn't see him. But um, at the end of the day, you know, I know what I'm facing. I respect him as a fighter. I respect every fighter as a fighter because only a boxer knows what we go through once we get inside that ring. You know, um, it's a lot of sport, sports analysts, you know, they look at, they just looking at the game and observing the game. They don't know the ins and out of being a boxer. So I, I, I respect uh, Cabbage Reed, what's your name? I, I, Cab, Cabin Fever. I don't know his name. I don't know his name, but I respect him, you know. Um, but at the end of the day, man, um, we're going to have fun. Training camp was great. We don't watch no tape. We don't watch no tape. Um, I never seen him fight before, but I can say he was. I heard he was a, a world champion at light welterweight. So, so that th just by saying that he's he's not a, he's not a look over. You know, um, a lot of my fights, you know, I go into they they overlook. You know, um, the the Pons de Leon fight they overlook. You know, uh, the Eloy Perez fight, they overlook. He was an undefeated fighter. You know, Vicente, you know, never been stopped before. Future Olympian, you know. I never fought in the open class. I never even tried out. My last amateur fight, I was in the Junior Olympics. You know, I stopped him. You know, they overlook it. Every, everything is being overlooked. Then I go in and fight DeMarco, and, and, and I demolish the, the number one top lightweight at the time. And, and they just like, oh, I, I was supposed to do that? Come on, man. You know, now I'm 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 going against a, 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 a former champion at light welterweight. So he's coming down the weight. He he used to get hit by 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 stronger fighters or whatever, man. I don't, don't want to hear that, man. He going to sleep. <laughs> what I'm saying is, man, I'm not about to miss this boulder on this man's shoulders. He gonna be there all night, well, as long as he lasts. It's not going to last that long, man. We'll be eating ice cream in, in, in no time. And, I, and, I, and, and, I, and I'm so sad that, that the Twinkies has been 
they gone, they took my Twinkies away, so so I couldn't even sneak Twinkies this camp. So somebody gotta pay for it. And, and it has to be Gavin Reed. Gavin Reed, I don't know, Cabbage, I don't know his name. I, I really don't know him, man. You know, um, this is this is gonna be a fun year for me. Um, I'm not looking past this fight, but I, I want to say, you know, um, I wanted to fight Ricky Burns, but he uh, put on his track shoes and ran again. <laughs> Went for another lap. You know, uh, he ran away from me again. You know, um, I, I'm just ready to fight whoever, but we're going to take care of business on Saturday night. We're ready. And I just want everybody to put their glasses on, you know, because uh, I'm shining. I'm a shine. So be ready. The problem. Hook right. Good night. Thank you, Adrian. A little bit of good news. They are bringing Twinkies back. I heard they are. Yes. Uh, thank you, everybody, for coming. We'll look uh, forward to seeing you on uh, Saturday in Atlantic City. Uh, we appreciate it. Uh, if you can't be there at Boardwalk Hall, make sure you tune in on HBO at 10:30 on Saturday night. We will see you then. We'll now pose the uh, fighters for pictures. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh.